Christian Horner has called out Max Verstappen for being demanding as Lewis Hamilton finally catches up to them. This Mercedes resurgence is seriously affecting the chemistry inside the Red Bull garage, and you get to see things fall apart for them firsthand in today's video, so stay tuned. Internal troubles seem to have affected Red Bull's performance on the track, and their disastrous weekend at the Monaco Grand Prix says it all as the RB20 struggled with the bumps and curbs of the street circuit. Red Bull team boss Christian Horner sounds like the constant complaining in the garage is finally getting to him, telling Speed Week, During the course of a world championship, sometimes you get into troubled waters. And Max is a demanding customer, like everyone else in the team, so he only says what the team feels. Since the beginning of the season, Horner has been handling the pressure of his off-track scandal and Adrian Newey's surprise exit rather well. But why the sudden change in tone? Could there be extra stress coming from a new source? That seems to be the case after Lewis Hamilton struck fear in Horner's heart after his sudden burst of speed in Canada. Mercedes and Red Bull are back at each other's throats in F1. At the Canadian Grand Prix, the Silver Arrows, Lewis Hamilton in particular, were the fastest on the track. Their new front wing configuration boosted their overall performance, pushing them ahead in raw pace. Despite Max Verstappen securing the victory for Red Bull, Christian Horner's team wasn't satisfied. Mercedes's revolutionary front wing upgrade bothered them, leading to reports of an unofficial complaint. Is this a genuine concern, or is it just worry from seeing an old rival make a comeback? Lewis Hamilton dominated the Montreal track during all practice sessions, even prompting George Russell to study his teammates' data to gain an edge in qualifying. The Mercedes aerodynamics team made a significant impact by incorporating a higher bending capacity in the W15's front wing, taking a page from McLaren's book. While Max Verstappen praised them for having the fastest car in Canada, Red Bull raised questions about the legality of their upgrade. F1 pundit Richard Reddy believes that Mercedes's meteoric rise in pace will put them in the spotlight. He suggests this might be why Red Bull feels vulnerable. Reddy shared these thoughts on the Missed Apex podcast. Because Mercedes did some killer laps with Hamilton in the race, people are starting to pay attention. I am not suggesting Hamilton's going to come back and win the championship, but it is a sign that Mercedes have rattled the grid a little bit with Red Bull now lodging an informal complaint about the Mercedes front wing. Despite their increased pace, Hamilton's errors and Mercedes' imperfect tyre strategy cost him a podium finish. The seven-time champion called it one of the worst races of his career. This led to his fans accusing the team of sabotaging him, overshadowing their best result of 2024. Both Mercedes drivers were highly self-critical after the Canadian GP. George Russell labelled his race as ugly, and Lewis Hamilton took responsibility for his poor performance in a race where they had the potential to finish 1-2. Hamilton's unexpected self-critique surprised many, with Tom Clarkson suggesting he might be playing psychological games with Mercedes. Lewis Hamilton isn't the only thing weighing on Christian Horner's mind. Three-time world champion Max Verstappen has been a hot topic recently concerning his future in Formula One. With the announcement that Sergio Perez will stay as his teammate until the end of 2026, questions have arisen about Verstappen's contract with Red Bull. The 26-year-old's current deal keeps him with the Milton Keynes team until 2028, but there are whispers of a potential move elsewhere before the contract expires. Perez has had a tough time in the sport lately, with failures to finish in both Monaco and Montreal. This has sparked debate over whether he deserved the contract extension or if it was a tactical move to keep Verstappen from considering other options. Speaking to BBC Five live pit lane reporter Rosanna Tennant, Verstappen said, I don't think it has anything to do with that. People always make up stories, but things are not linked to each other. Andrew Benson from BBC Sport chimed in on this, commenting that Verstappen's answer somewhat glosses over the tensions that arose between the two drivers in 2022, when the Dutchman believed Perez had crashed deliberately in Monaco qualifying to secure his grid position ahead of Verstappen, and it does not address his own reality. Insiders have made it clear to BBC Sport that there is a possibility Verstappen will leave Red Bull for 2026. The decision to keep Perez was made by team principal Christian Horner, and it was made in the interests of stability. There were tensions in the team when Verstappen and Carlos Sainz were paired at Toro Rosso in 2015-16, and Horner had no desire to risk that happening again. With no Red Bull junior driver making a convincing case to be promoted alongside Verstappen, Horner preferred the status quo. Quentha Steiner, the former Haas team principal who gained fame from Netflix's Drive to Survive, 
has raised questions after the news of Sergio Perez's contract extension with Red Bull Racing, locking in his partnership with Max Verstappen until the end of the 2026 Formula One season. This decision comes amidst a notable decline in performance from the Mexican driver, who has only scored four points in the last three races. The extension announcement came as a surprise to many, including Steiner. Speaking on the Red Flags podcast, Steiner shared his unexpected reaction, mentioning, I was as surprised as you. I wouldn't add a lot to what you just said because I was like, what the? I like and respect Sergio because I spoke a few times with him to come into Haas, but he's just struggling. The surprise primarily arises not just from Perez's recent performances, but also from speculation surrounding Verstappen's potential influence on team decisions. Steiner hinted at the existence of a clause in Verstappen's contract that might give the reigning world champion a voice in selecting his teammate. Steiner then went on to express his thoughts on the matter. I think they are happy, as you say. And maybe Max said, I want Sergio, otherwise I don't stay. You never know if he hasn't got a clause in his contract. They exist in contracts that if you've got the number one driver status, you can decide the number two or be part of it. You cannot say my brother is driving the second car, but that you have got the voice in it. And they get on, I think. Sergio Perez admits that his performances would be less intense if he were paired with a driver other than Max Verstappen, considering the high standard that his Red Bull teammate sets. While talking to Racer, the Mexican said, I think you've seen with other drivers that have been here how tough it is. I think Red Bull is different to any other team in that regard. Mentally, it takes everything out of you, and you have to be very strong mentally to cope with the pressure that there is always with this team. But it's what I found amazing at this point of my career. It's a challenge. Every day is a new challenge and you just keep learning, keep growing, and I want to do the very best for this team. From the outside, there is a lot of pressure. There's a lot going on and inside the team, I mean you have a reference where you currently have the best driver on the grid next to you and he's performing at such a high level, at one with the car. If you go to another team and had another teammate, you would already look very different. But it's what I find great. To have this challenge and to be Max's teammate is what really motivated me to carry on because it's a massive challenge. In the midst of a bustling driver market, Perez revealed that he had the chance to switch to another team for the 2025 season. However, his goal is to stay with Red Bull until he concludes his racing career in Formula One. I had a few options outside of the team, but to me, the main idea and the main goal was to carry on with the team, he said. I'm really happy. I really enjoy working with the group of engineers, with the group of mechanics. Everyone is just flat out and giving their all. I'm super happy to continue this journey together and I'm extremely grateful for the opportunity that they've given me. I would really love to finish my career at this team. How much of Sergio Perez's new contract was earned and how much was orchestrated by Max Verstappen and his wish to have a reliable number two? Tell us what you think in the comments section down below. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Thanks for watching.